Welcome to um, kind of a series of episodes. I started recording some stuff a while back with some of this, and um, I'm hoping to kind of get that incorporated into my channel here. But I'm calling it Homebrew Gadgets and Gear Reviews. Today, we're just taking a quick look at the, the ITC 308. It's a temperature controller. Um, basically, for the longest time now, I've been using the the STC 1000s, and then they had the ITC 1000 come out. So um, I've I built my own little uh, temperature controller using one of those. But then uh, I ran across this on Amazon, and and saw them on uh, Homebrew Talk, and uh, these this really sparked my interest. Now the cool thing with this. You know, it's got a nice display. It's small. You can hang it. It comes with everything attached. You got hot and cold. You got the plug, and then you have your temperature probe wire. So it's uh, pretty easy to use. I did shoot some video unboxing and then firing it up for the first time. So I'll put that in here. So check out the general setup and, and unboxing of the ITC 308 by Inkbird. Um, I'll put the link below that uh, you can find it at Amazon. Um, I believe it's like right around 35 bucks, which is a pretty darn good deal considering um, like my first temperature controller is just that little dial one and I can't even remember what I paid for it, but it was more than that. So we'll post the video and then we'll come back and close it out. All right, so this comes with the uh, instructions. There you go. Alright, so here's just kind of a wider view here. You got uh, your plug, your plug in, your plug out, and here's your temperature probe. So let's go ahead and plug her in. Alright, so the first thing is you can see it's reading in Celsius. This is a temperature set value. This is your heating differential value. Here's your cooling differential value. Here is your alarm high, your alarm low, and then this is for your compressor delay. So if you're running in a freezer like I do, you don't want it kicking on and off because it's going to burn out the compressor, so you can set a delay. Alright, so the next one here is temperature calibration. And then the last one is temperature units. I'm going to turn it to Fahrenheit. Alright, so we have our freezer hooked into the ink bird. <clears throat> And then the th actual thermocouple is sitting inside the chamber. So you can see we're sitting at about 61.2. I set it for 58 for my set point. And then I did plus or minus 2 degrees. So that should get down to, I think, 58. Click off, and then once it goes up like 2 degrees, then it should kick back on if I'm correct here. Alright, so we're a couple of tenths of a degree away here. Two, one. Alright, so the freezer just kicked out. Alright, so now you can see that the temperature is down to 54.7. I set it for three degrees to heat. The heating light kicked on. One thing I noticed is the cooling light didn't kick on when um, when it was cooling down, so um, I don't know. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But other than that, works really nice. I like the uh, the plug like that. The setup. This is pretty nice because I could just mount it right to my wall there. So that's that'll be kind of cool. It'll definitely be um, a little bit more of a sm small thing than than this. One thing I got to figure out too is the temperatures are off, so I'll have to look into that. Other than that, pretty nice looking product. Alright guys, so hope 
that uh, that kind of gives you a brief overview of this temperature controller. Obviously, there's more things that I need to play with just a little bit, but um, yeah, it's it's a nice nice unit, nice compact, small. Um, I'm looking forward to get my temperature controller on the my uh, fermentation chamber and uh, get that thing cracking. So, um, other than that, I mean, overall, um, looks like a decent unit. It is uh, it's made of a decent plastic. I don't plan on throwing this thing around. Um, the temperature probe. Um, the end of the temperature probe is uh, looks looks decently uh, sealed, and I like the metal compared to the uh, the rubber. Yeah, I do. I also like this having the little pigtail with the double outlet. That's kind of cool, um, and it's actually labeled, so you can't screw it up. That's pretty nice too. So, anyways, uh, that's uh, that's it for the unboxing um, and the review. I think uh, definitely this is a pretty cool device and it's at a reasonable price so you can't go wrong um, I would think that uh, um, I'll probably end up purchasing another one of these down the road here so so anyways if you got any questions or you have anything else you'd like to see on it shoot me a, shoot me a comment below uh, if you have any of your thoughts or whatever shoot it below be uh, interested to see uh, see how you guys are using them too so that's all I got from here cheers and uh, look for some more uh, home brewing gadget and gear that uh that'll be posting here in the 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 future so it'll probably be another series just uh over my course of brewing the little stuff that i've i've played with and used my thoughts what i like what i don't like and uh hopefully it'll help you guys make a decision uh when you're looking at uh brewing gadgets and gear so cheers guys we'll see you next time